Hi guys, this is Joe Kelly. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, I help actors work through their resistances so they can fully tap into their instincts. And today we're going to be talking about, um, you know, the fact that the Corona virus isn't over and, um, and, and how is that impacting your career and what you think about your career and your acting. So um, basically what I'm hearing a lot of actors say right now, not everybody says that, but I am hearing some actors say, um, COVID is happening and there's nothing we can do about it and there's no work, we're stuck, um, there's no acting to be done uh, there's no productions, there's no real um, certainty about what's going to happen. Sometimes the productions start and then, you know, they they just turn everything off after shooting two episodes. Um, it looks like we're not shooting any movies in the near future, so maybe it's going to be just shows. Um, it, it feels like very, um, like... It's, it's just what we have to deal with. Um, it's for the entire world. The industry is shut down. And as an actor, you might feel that there is nothing you can do. And therefore, you can feel lost because you're not having the work, which means you're not expressing yourself, which means you're not getting your paycheck, which means you don't know when the next paycheck is coming. You might be getting unemployment depending on... Uh, you know, benefits on which country you're in, but they might not last forever. You might be already seeing the end of that. So that can be very stressful and you can feel overwhelmed. I hear some actors who are depressed. I hear some actors who are having their worst year ever, who are really feeling lost, stuck, um, and, and actually hopeless about what's happening. Frozen inside of this huge circumstance that is just hitting the industry. Um, and I get it, it's a big one, right? It's a big circumstance that we all have to deal with. And the industry, as is, is directly impacted, right? There's no, um, there's no doubt about that. That's the word I was looking for. So um, when there's nothing happening right now, and you have no revenue, and you don't know when the next thing is going to happen, you might be asking yourself, but yeah, what, like it looks like the second wave is already everywhere. When is production ever going to go back? And if it does go back, how will that work? Is, is it only going to be for a few characters? And so is there going to be like a natural selection of all the smaller characters going away? And it's only going to be the bigger roles and therefore the bigger names and the people who have more credits and experience that are going to get those jobs. So that can also feel daunting. So not only what is currently happening, like there's no industry, there's not much being sh shot. And when there is, we're not sure how long it lasts. And at the same time, feeling like I have no idea what the future is going to look like. And since I don't know what the future is going to look like, and I don't know when things are going to pick up. I don't know when auditions are going to start again. Well, I'm doing nothing because I have to wait, right? So the hopelessness, the anxiety, the depression that some of you might be feeling um, is directly related to that, is directly related to the fact that, yes, something big is happening. Yes, the industry is still shut down definitely in America, um, not in Europe, but in America. And in Europe, it's much slower. So, so it impacts you, definitely. Yet, some people are having their best year ever. Some actors are having right now, as we speak, their best year ever. And some of you guys are having their worst year ever. And that's where I would like for us to put our attention right? I would like for you guys to be clear about what is bringing you the hopelessness. Is it the circumstance, which is there is no industry, there's nothing I can do, I'm stuck, all I can do is wait and have all these feelings, 
and the lack of money coming in. If you deal with it this way, you're choosing to take a position in which you're a victim of the situation, which means something comes on my path and there is nothing I can do about it. Therefore, I am a victim of that circumstances of that circumstance, sorry. And that position of being a victim is so devoid of power that you are starting to feel the hopelessness and that you're starting to loop and to not feel your passion and to not find any creative ideas for the money and to not train because you think, why would I train? Why would I do any work on myself if I, if I have no idea what's coming? So you're putting yourself in a position where you wait on something external to you to get the ball going. And then you think, well, when it starts, then I'll move the needle. Then I'll work on myself again. Then I'll put myself on tape. Then I'll look at my material, right? So I really want the distinction to be clear. I'm not saying that coronavirus is not happening. It's happening and it's definitely happening in a much longer way and in a much more dramatic way than we had expected or any one of us wanted to, right? And I want you to position yourself and you can answer this in the comments because we're gonna be talking about this this entire week. I will be coming live every day at one, except tomorrow I'll be coming live at 12. And we will be diving into this topic we will get very granular because I want to make sure that whatever you're feeling, if it's not working for you, that you find your power back so you can get out of there. Because some of you are living this as victims of the industry not working and there's nothing you can do about it. And that's a, a, a horrible feeling to have and it's hopeless and it can get you into depression. And some of you, are having their best year yet. Some of you are training deep, are discovering parts of their instrument that they didn't even know they had. Some of you are creating their own content. Some of you are reviewing the, all of their material. Some of you are making connections. Some of you are getting ready for what's coming. And some of you are sitting as victims. And I'm not criticizing that, right? I'm not saying, hey, that's bad and that's why you feel bad. That's never what I'm going to do. What I want you to realize is that you have an opportunity to choose which way you react to any situation, no matter how hard it may seem. When it hits you, you get hit, you get on your knees, and then you look at your options. And if right now what you're experimenting is a lack of power and you're experimenting yourself, you're experimenting yourself as a victim of what is happening, that is why you're feeling depressed and overwhelmed and stuck and, you know, powerless to what is happening. It's not the circumstance that is making you powerless. It's not COVID. It's not the fact that the industry is shut down that makes you feel powerless. And I know it will irritate a lot of you, but I'm going to say it again. It is not because of COVID that you're feeling powerless. It's because of the way you choose to react to it. It's the position you take as a victim. And when you choose the position of a victim, there is nothing you can do about it. You're just a victim of what's happening. And so you're stuck and you're lost and it feels horrible and you have to wait and you depend on others. And as long as others don't move or don't change or the industry doesn't change, you can't do anything. And so your creativity's out the window, your training's out the window, your money's out the window. You're just this little piece of nothing that can't do anything about it. And I know it's a big circumstance. It's a big ass ginormous circumstance, right? Especially in the States, the industry is shut down. Nothing's happening. And when some of you are already starting to audition, a lot of my clients are auditioning right now a lot for big projects, smaller projects, voice projects, for series regulars, for a lot of things. But there's no date to when that's gonna be shot, right? No one knows, nothing's happening. And in Europe, it's really uncertain. Some people are shooting, some people are, you know, shutting down the shoots. So 
it is real. And yet what I'm saying is that it's your perception of what's happening, this position you choose to take as a victim that makes you feel all the hopelessness, right? And so that's what I want us to dissect together this whole week because there's nothing for you to gain in that position, right? When you're making yourself a victim of the circumstance, there is nothing you can do. So you're literally stuck until someone else does the move for you, right? Does that make sense, you guys? Let me know if you have um, any questions, if you have any comments, any complaints, because I know this can, um, this can be a little bit triggering and challenging. Um, and yet I, I want, I want us to go right there. Um, so the summary is if you're feeling like there's nothing you can do for the moment, if you feel this is a terrible time for you to do anything about your acting career, to do any work on you, to invest on you, to work on creating your own things, you are probably feeling hopeless and stuck and lost and overwhelmed and maybe even depressed. And all the while you're doing that, some of them are getting ready. Some of them are in their starting blocks. Some of them are creating content, reviewing their material, preparing their instrument for what's coming. And the question is, where do you want to be? Do you want to be the victim or not? Right? That's the question. And I know it's not easy. I'm not saying this is an easy period. But if it's been shitty so far, it doesn't have to be shitty for the rest of the year. 2020 can still be your best year ever. So where do you want to be? Oh, if you're interested in this and if this makes sense, if you want to do this work, you can get on our wait list. You click the link below. And as soon as we open enrollment, we'll let you know.